Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can delete data from MongoDB in a Node.js application. So let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we will create a separate file so that we can keep our code in a separate file for delete data. After that, we will import MongoDB connection from configuration file. Then we will learn how we can delete single record and multiple record. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions related to this video. So now let's start with the first point. And uh, here I am creating a new file. So let's say my uh, new file name is uh, delete.js. And uh, as we know, we have to import configuration from uh, mongodb.js file. And uh, this code is basically created two or three videos uh, uh, back. And if you want to watch this video, link is given in the description box for complete playlist. All right. So now uh, what do we need to do? We, we have to import this uh, DB connect. So let's simply put here const DB connect and we can import it from uh, our configuration file and our configuration file is mongodb and you can uh, put any name to this uh, uh, configuration file you can just simply put here config.js it will still work it's not mandatory to just uh, make this name mongodb right and uh, after that let's create a function and uh, let's say this function is uh, arrow function so my function name is let's say delete data and now we can call this function. So I am just calling here delete data like this. Perfect. And now let's uh, execute this uh, DB connection function inside a variable. Let's say I'm just taking a let data DB connect. And uh, now let's simply put here console.log data. And you will find that this is basically returning a promise so after that we will see that how we can resolve this promise so just simply put here node moon and uh, delete.js and here we go you can see that this is a promise and for handle this promise we can just simply put here await and this await will work inside a async function we can run it and here actually this is printing all stuff from uh, this database connection but we don't need these all stuff so what we need to do here we want to just delete this data so just simply put here another take a result uh, let and uh, just simply put here data dot delete one if you want to just delete only one record so and here let's put here condition so in the database so let's say i want to delete the record with max5 here you can see that we have a two max5 uh, with the name of uh, mobile so we want to delete first one so what we can do here just simply put here name max5 so let me match the name capitalization and all everything is fine and now with that you will find that this is already deleted uh, i can show you Here you can see that. So how this is deleted? So see, we just run this query and it will automatically delete it. So if you want to just check that your data is deleted or not, that time you can just console it. So now let's say I want to delete a uh, record with the max 7, but uh, there is a lots of max 7. So I am is changing its price. So let's say its price is $1,000. So we want to check that it will delete first one or not right so this is the first one record and now what i'm going to do i'm just simply put here uh, max 7 like this and now uh, whenever we will check the result you will find okay it's again returning a promise so we can just simply put here await and within that time it's again actually delete the record if you want to check that Uh, here we go there is a no record uh, with the 1000 because uh, it basically 
return the result we cannot check the result what actually it is returned but queries is just run and deleted that right so now what we can do here so let's say i want to delete this node so again let's put here a node and uh, we already put it the await here so now that time it will not return any promise and it will give the status that uh, acknowledge true and delete it zero because we just put here a space at the last of node and if i am just removing it now it will re uh, remove the record so keep in mind never put a uh, space in the front or in the last of any keyword otherwise it will not delete your record all right so after that now let, let's see how we can uh, delete the multiple records so after that you will find that there is a no uh, mobile with the name of node so now let's say we want to delete the all records with the max 7 so we have only uh, three records so let's simply put here delete many and we can just simply put here max 7 and let's run it and now you will find that acknowledged true and deleted three records right and uh, if you will check here then you will find there there is a no record with the max 7 so that's all that how we can uh, just delete a record and uh, till now we just completed the curve with the static data so in the upcoming videos we are just jumping on the apis because we are done with the static data and now we will uh, make the apis with the postman and with the get and post method and all so don't forget to subscribe my channel and yes uh, it's interview time interview question time not interview time so uh, our question uh, which can be asked that so how we will get to know that record is deleted or not so let's say i'm just running it again and you will find that deleted count is zero if you get the deleted count is zero that means record is not deleted maybe there is some problem with your command or maybe uh, with the name of max 7 or name that you provide the uh, data is not present inside your database collection right so with that you can check that how many record is deleted or any record is actually deleted or not so thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel